guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's look, as you guys can see, I did a very easy glam and I am so in love with how this came out. I know that I say that about like all of the videos that I upload, but you know, I just, I need to hype myself up. So I love how this came out. It is very easy, very glam, easy glam for Thanksgiving. And I paired it, I gave you guys two options, a kind of like grungy look and then this very natural look. I think uh, both lips look amazing with this look because it's very natural. So you can pair it even with a red lipstick and it would look so, so nice. Ready for Thanksgiving and ready to eat all the food because I am so excited. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there. And if you want to know how I got this look right here, then just keep on watching. I'm wearing this super like cozy sweater because my apartment is really cold. I'm really cold. I took a shower and I had like I had to wash my hair today because it like needed to be done. My hair has been getting really greasy lately. Not not sure why. My face has been extremely dry. Not sure why. Oh, that rhymed. <laughs> um, it's been extremely dry. The weather hasn't been it hasn't been that bad here in San Diego but I don't know why my face feels extremely dry I'm gonna apply my milk hydro grip primer this has lasted me so long like and I still have a lot left and I'm just gonna apply that all over my face just so that our makeup last through the day look at all these like baby hairs <laughs> like and that's like the length that it, they're gonna stay in like they're not gonna grow we're just gonna stay in that like weird length this is the elf poreless uh primer by elf and i'm just gonna grab it with my finger and just apply it where i have bigger or like the appearance of my pores is a little like bigger so usually like on my T-zone, a little bit here on my cheeks. I don't know why, today my cheeks are a little more red than usual. So what are your plans for Thanksgiving? I am so excited for the food. I cannot wait for some mashed potatoes. I'm not a big fan of like turkey. I love me some ham. Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I'm gonna grab my two favorite too because I'm combining shades uh, but my favorite uh, foundation this is the NYX can't stop won't stop foundation and I'm just combining these two because um, I went to Ulta like three different Ulta's they didn't have my shade and it was really annoying so I had to like buy two and like combine them to like find my shade so that's where I'm at I really want to try a foundation like a high-end foundation because I finished my Urban Decay one and I don't know which one to try now. They haven't come out like, there was a period that a lot of like brands came out with like um, foundations, but now like they stopped. So I, I'm not sure which one I wanna try. Obviously it needs to be like full coverage foundation um, as well as like for oily skin. I may give a try to a kind of like a more um, dewy foundation. I don't know, like I said, what's up with my skin and it's been a little bit more on the dry side uh, the past I want to say like couple months I don't know if it's weather but I've been trying like I've been needing to like moisturize way more than I would have to before I think I'm gonna uh, cream contour a tiny bit because I've been into it I actually do want to pick up the Fenty contour stick um, I have the shade written down on my phone because I want to go pick it up this weekend um, because it looks bomb and the shade that I'm using right now it's a little bit too ashy I want to say um, I don't even know where, where this is from I think it's from like a contour kit I got from like a makeup um, like seminar I went to I mean on camera and camera looks good but in person it looks a little bit more ashy than I would want it to look like I'm gonna go in with my concealer this is um, Tarte Shave Tape Concealer 
I film a tutorial with the new Jeffrey and Shane conspiracy palette and as you can see I didn't get a, I did like a purpley pinkish look and this I got a little bit stained but apart from that I didn't get anything else stained I was really impressed because I remember I used the James Charles palette and oh lord did I get stained with that one with the hot pink one I don't mind getting like my eyelids stained but I was really surprised to set my um, concealer I'm just gonna take my Kylie Cosmetics um, yellow powder I want to try the pink powder I've seen really I've heard really good things about it and it looks beautiful in pictures so I think I want to pick up that, that one as well. To set my face, I'm going to go in with my Studio Fix by MAC in NC30. And I think I need to pick up a lighter shade. Um, I usually run down my foundation down my neck. But with this powder, like it's a little bit too dark right now for my skin tone. So as you guys can tell, I've... I haven't done my eyebrows and it's something that I kind of like changed up from my eyebrow um, routine which I'll link up here because I would I on that video like I showed you guys kind of like the new routine that I was doing with the whole like fluffy ness of my eyebrows and um, I started doing my eyebrows after my foundation and I like a little bit better how they look I was doing them before my foundation and with the whole whole like soap thing and like brushing them upwards I ended up with my eyebrows being like really thick and kind of like my I ended up with my eyebrows a little bit thicker than I would want to kind of like James Charles when he first started and they were like super thick I'm gonna take my hula bronzer which I already hit pan and I don't know what bronzer I want to use next or try. I think I want to try the Fenty one as well. Because it looks bomb. And then for blush, I'm going to take two blushes from Makeup Geek, which I'm not sh I don't think they're available anymore. Um, I'm really excited for the documentary that she's releasing. But I'm just going to take an orange yeah, these are for Makeup Geek. Um, an orange shade and a pink shade. And I'm just going to mix them together. And that's going to be my blush for today. And as always, you don't have to use this palette. Just use whatever shade at home that you guys have. Similar to the ones I'm using. I'm going to be using the one that's called Bare Necessity. Which is this one right here. And I'm going to be taking that all over my crease. And I'm using very light pressure on my brush. This is a Morphe E uh, Morphe a Sigma E25 brush. So we went to Chiapas, and we came back last Thursday, and I've been extremely sick um, for my stomach since like Saturday and so bad like my stomach hurts so bad still and it's like Wednesday when I'm filming this so uh, I'm gonna move on and take the color toast which is right next to that um, and again we're working with very little product at a time we don't want to go ham with the shades Yeah, my stomach has been like horrible the past days. It's just been hurting a lot. And like I just need to wait to like pass it. And I'm like hoping my stomach doesn't hurt tomorrow with all the food that I'm gonna eat. 
And now I'm going to take a clean 506 brush and I'm going to take that first color that I used and kind of like clean this up a bit just around it. With no um, extra product, I'm just taking that same E25 brush by Sigma and just running that on my crease. But I didn't dip it back into that shade. And then with a Sigma E30, I think it's a pretty big um, flat shader brush. I'm going to grab the color Nothing Else, which is this bone shade right here. And I'm going to apply that on my lid. Just like that. And I'm going to kind of like blend it upwards. Very light motions I'm going to grab the color warm and cozy which is this deeper brown and I'm going to grab that and put it really close to my lash line Kind of like creating a wing at the end. And I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Hot Cocoa, which is down here. And I'm going to apply that on my outer corner with that same brush. And for my lower lash line, I'm going to go in that Bare Necessity. Okay, so as you can see, I already put my lashes on and I am wearing um, Coco Lashes in the style at Girl About Town. Uh, I'm about to go and stock up because they are having a 30% sale um, and these are like one of my favorite lashes. These and the Goddess Lashes from Coco Lashes are one of the best lashes. I love their styles. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, highlight my face and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Love Light Blinded by the Light. It's just a very like champagne-y, I like put all my fingers in it, um, a very like champagne white highlight. I'm almost like I'm hitting pan on my Anastasia Beverly Hills and I am just see like I should have bought two when it came out again I'm really hoping they bring it back though um, because like it's an iconic highlight but today I chose to go and use this one it is a very like intense highlight as well um, that's just like my preference you can definitely pair it up with a um, not so bright highlight but I love me some bright highlights so um, I think I only have my oh I just I need to blend that a little bit my hair is a little bit damp still I don't know what I want to do with my hair um, but I have two lip options and they're both Jeffree Star Cosmetics. 
because I just I love his uh, formula and I have this is dominatrix which is a brown shade and I just want to show you guys how it looks because I think it looks pretty cool um, like the combination of the eyes with a brown lipstick now mine's a little dry <laughs> I use this a couple of times and then it's not like a lipstick that you wear often you know like I think it looks pretty cool so this is option one with the lipstick and now I'm going to show you the nude option which I'm pretty sure I'm going to work I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear this dark lip tomorrow I just feel like it looks really cool with this like kind of simple look but it like the lips definitely like makes it a little like grungy and I think I want to wear like my ripped jeans with a flannel that's a look right there <laughs> I try to take off as much as I could and now the second option which is a more like nude shade this is um, mannequin by Jeffrey obviously this is much more wearable And it still looks, you know, wearable, pretty, very neutral. I like it. I like it a lot so with the shade Mannequin. So that is it for this Thanksgiving very easy glam makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there. As always, all of the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.